everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup, all things makeup related and sometimes other stuff. This is one of those times. If you're like me, your whole YouTube requested videos, your whole YouTube feed is all about the Sephora VIB sale, which I mean, obviously it's such an exciting time for all makeup lovers. There's so many recommendation videos, wishlist videos. I've already made two of them. Um, and I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different just so it's not so makeup saturated, even though I am primarily a makeup channel. Uh, but today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to talk to you guys about my current favorite non makeup related items. <laughs> I've gathered quite a few things in front of me. This is such a random assortment of things. I have everything from wine to jewelry to handbags. I have it all. With that being said, I am not done <laughs> talking about the Sephora VIB sale. I am waiting for all my Sephora orders to come in. And then at the end, I'm going to do one big collective haul. So be on the lookout for that if that's something that interests you. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to my current favorite things. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the necklace that I have on right now since I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. So if you don't know, Miss Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn Roxanne, recently launched a jewelry collection and I love every single thing in it. I'm such a sucker for beautiful, sparkly things. And there was one necklace in particular that caught my eye and I was like, that, I need it. And it was a Cuban, I think they call these Cuban chains, Cuban links, but it was like this and it had, it had like the little uh, fake diamonds in it. And that's what I wanted. I was like, that's the necklace that I want. I need to have it. It was like $165 and I just, I didn't feel like paying that price for something like that because to be completely perfectly honest with you, I'm not really someone that wears jewelry every single day. I mean, I obviously wear like my wedding ring and sometimes I wear like different rings and stuff all the time. But as far as like state mini necklaces go, I don't wear them daily enough to justify spending that kind of money on a necklace. So, so I took myself to Etsy and I typed in like Cuban chain with CZ like crystal diamonds and I found this one. It is from the shop JM Jewelry Shop and I'll have everything I'm mentioning linked down below. Um, and it was $74 but I got it for $44. $44 and it's still $44 right now and I'm so pleased with it. It's a it's a little different from the one that Jacqueline came out with but honestly like I love it just as much. I really think it adds just a little something to an outfit. So yeah I'm really really happy with this one. I'm sure I would have loved the one that Jacqueline came out with but I was able to save myself about $100 purchasing this one instead. So if you were like me and you had your eye on that but you don't quite want to pay that price definitely check Etsy. There's a lot of um, smaller shops on there that make really nice jewelry. Okay I've completely destroyed the packaging on these but I have to tell you guys about these little like nail stickers. These are from the brand Dashing Diva and I bought these on a whim when I was at Ulta. Oh my God, <laughs> these are so good. So I had this set on, I can't even find it, but they came with like colors like this and then they had some with like a little design on them. These lasted on my fingers for like two and a half weeks with no issue. Um, I actually have this set on my toes right now and these have been on my toes for three, four weeks now, and not one has budged. They are literally just a little sticker that you peel off the sheet, you put it on your nails, and then you fold over the excess, and then you file it off. So easy to put on. I will say I did buy some specific ones for Halloween. So I bought this pack right here. They have little ghosts on them. Same brand and everything, but for whatever reason, these didn't stay on my nails as good as the other set did. Um, I noticed I kept having to replace like certain nails because they would just like kind of peel off. So definitely if you're someone that picks at your nails or anything like that, these are probably not gonna be for you because obviously they will come off if you like do that for your feet, for like an event, you don't have time to do your nails. And I believe these were like eight or nine bucks. 
Highly recommend checking these out. I think these are so great. I was able to like wash my hair, wash my face, get them wet and they stayed on so. I am very much a red wine drinker. I'm not a fan of white wines. I don't really like the sugary sweet flavored wines. I like it nice and bitter. <laughs> the bitterer the betterer as I say. This is a uh, Marcel Malbec and this is my second bottle of this. The first bottle I bought I literally drank in a day. And that never, that never happens to me. Like this amount right here is what I can drink on red wine and then like I'm done. And the thing with red wine, I like it. I prefer it over the white wine, but it burns my throat. <laughs> like every time I'll swallow red wine, it's like, you know, I know you, I know a lot of people know what I'm talking about, but this, it's that same taste, but it goes down not as harsh not harsh at all. Like I could sit here and just casually sip on this where red wine, it's like, I want to casually sip on it, but it hurts me. Uh, I've never even heard of Malbec wine before. I didn't even know it was a thing. I'm not educated in anything alcoholic. I literally know nothing about wines and beers and vodkas. I know nothing. I just like what I like. So if you're like me, definitely recommend checking that out. Just stay on the subject of liquids. This is my favorite coffee creamer for the fall time. I know I talked about this creamer before, like one of the very first videos I ever filmed on my channel. Um, I did a favorites and I mentioned this. This is the Silk Pumpkin Spice Creamer. This is a dairy free creamer. For those of you that don't know, I have been on a completely plant-based vegan diet for, it'll be six years in February. Um, something that I'm very like deeply passionate about. And so I usually drink my coffee black, but when this time comes around, when the fall hits and they start putting this bad boy on the shelves, I will buy like three or four at a time because I don't know what's happening, but people are catching on to this, which is good. Like I'm glad more people are buying plant-based options, but like at the same time, at least some for your girl, you know? My next favorite thing is the sound of my dog barking. Uh, I don't have these upstairs with me. I forgot to grab them, but something that I've been loving are these liquid IV sticks. Now, clearly, not a doctor. <laughs> I don't really know what's in these, but I love them. I've tried so many different flavors and I swear by the watermelon one. Do not, I repeat, do not get the lemon lime flavor. So gross. For some reason I got it thinking it was gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be like a spray or bleh. No, it's nasty. Uh, watermelon one, chef's kiss, so good. I love drinking these before a workout, after a workout. If I feel a headache coming on, I will drink one of these. If I look at a glass of wine, I will drink one of these. They are so good. It's supposed to just be faster hydration for you. Again, I don't know the science behind that. It has something to do with cellular transport technology. I don't know what that means. Um, you do their little packets, you put them in your water and it's supposed to deliver hydration to your bloodstream faster and more efficiently than water alone. Sure. Really recommend checking these out, especially if you're someone that deals with a lot of headaches and things like that. Uh, I know personally, I'm probably not getting enough water daily. I drink so much coffee during the day. I kind of skip out on drinking water. Drinking one of these daily, I feel has really helped me, especially with getting headaches and stuff. Cause I used to get headaches all the time and I've noticed they're less frequent since I started drinking this every day. Especially to keep on hand whenever you're sick or anything. I think these are great to keep on hand. I have some handbags to show you. Uh, these next three I purchased all from a site called Goodnight Macaroon. I'm sure you've heard of them if you're on Instagram. So on a whim, I decided to take a look at their site and I will say never buy anything from their website full price because all these like bloggers have 40% off coupon code. So if you just do like a very quick search, it does not take <laughs> much effort to find like a 40% off code. So all these bags that I got were like $60 and under. Now these are all designer inspired. I love the looks of these bags, but I do not and will not buy <laughs> the actual authentic bag because I don't buy leather goods. I think it's wrong. Out of 10 times they're made with real leather. I do not support that. I don't want to buy leather goods, especially something as silly as a handbag. 
I don't know. That's just, I could get off on a whole, I'm not going to get off on a whole tangent because I know not everybody thinks this way and that's fine. But personally, I don't buy leather goods. I do have some handbags from years ago that I purchased that are made of real leather, but I, it's just something in the past five, six years that I'm, I don't do and I won't do. So that's what really drew me into these bags. One, they're literally a fraction, 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 fraction of the price of the actual bag. And so, and they're faux leather. So the first is this little Louis Vuitton inspired <laughs> backpack. I took one of the straps off because I was wearing it kind of like as a crossbody. It feels high quality. The zippers are nice. There's a lot of room on the inside. As you can see, there's little pockets in here for your phone and whatnot. And then it's got a front pocket as well. But I've always loved the look of this print from Louis Vuitton, but obviously never wanted to buy it. One, because of the leather and two, of because the insane price tag. I just love this print so much and I'm actually really tempted to buy this version of the bag in a crossbody. I have so many bags like this on the Goodnight Macaroon website. Um, so yeah, I've been really, really loving this. Next, I got their version of the Never Full bag. And this retails on their site for I think like 80 bucks, but like I said, I got it for 40% off of that. You guys, it looks like the real thing. It really does. It just doesn't have the Louis Vuitton logo on it, but it really does look like the real thing. It's so nice. Everything is such nice quality. Here is what the inside looks like. And then it even came with the little pouch. I actually wanna get the brown and black one in this size. Uh, it's the same print as the backpack I just showed you, just in this style bag. But yeah, really, really loving this. All right, so the next bag is my favorite that I got from Goodnight Macaroon, and it is this Chanel-inspired bag. This is what it looks like right here. Obviously, right here, you can see where it's the obvious difference from an actual Chanel bag. It's got this little line here on what should be a C. But from far away... I mean, <laughs> this is what the front looks like. And then we have the back right here. Obviously it's not like high quality real leather, but I don't want real leather. So <laughs> this is just fine with me. It's got a removable chain that comes with it right here if you wanted to carry it like this, but I keep the chain on and wear it as a crossbody. And then to open it up, you just twist this right here at the front. And then there is all the room that you have. You have, it's got a little divider in here. So you have two sides and then you have this little zipper pocket. I've used this bag multiple times and I just think it adds such like a pretty classy look to any outfit. And yeah, really enjoy it. So if you are looking for like this style of Chanel bag, save your money. Don't buy real leather, go to Goodnight Macaroon, and then you can take the money that you didn't spend on a $4,000 handbag and do something really cool with it. Okay, so my next favorite thing is actually the wallet I've been using. I purchased this from Amazon and I'm obsessed with it. I had like a really big, thick honkin' wallet and it just kind of took up a lot of room. I carry mostly smaller purses. I need to condense space when I can. And my other wallet was like, probably this thick or so. So I wanted to get something a little smaller. So I got this on Amazon and I fell in love with it because I'm obsessed with this like ballet pink color. And then I love bees. <laughs> I love little bee things. I think this is supposed to look like a Gucci wallet. I think that's the Gucci symbol. Bee. I don't really know. I don't know anything about Gucci, but I just fell in love with the little bee. And then it's very roomy in here. I got a bunch of receipts that I need to throw away all my cards and then there's different and there's little pockets in here. So if you wanted to separate anything, you could put like your ID in one, credit card in the other, debit card in the other. So really, really nice, really, really handy. And this also came in a bunch of different colors. Okay, honestly, I cannot believe I bought these. I always said I would never buy these. I thought it was really stupid. So I bought um, the faux leather leggings from Spanx. And if you're wondering, Kendall, why do these still have the tag on them? It's because this is my second pair. My second pair. Same exact thing. I now own two pair of the black faux leather leggings from Spanx. Because I freaking love them. I totally get it. I get the hype. I understand now. I do. I always thought it was so stupid. Why would anyone spend a hundred dollars 
on a pair of leggings. Why? I know why. But in all honesty, I really, really love these. I mean, obviously I went out and I bought a second pair. It's funny, I was actually sh <laughs> I was actually shopping with Austin, my husband, and we, <laughs> we went into the store and they happened to sell Spanx at the boutique that we were at. So I bought an extra, so I bought a pair because I loved my first pair so much and I wanted to because I know these are something that I'm going to wear over and over and over again, especially in the winter months to come. And we checked out and he, we walk out of the store and I start casually talking about something else. And he was like, are we just going to like breeze past the fact that you just spent a hundred dollars on a pair of leggings? And I was like, but they're Spanx. I think if you own a pair of Spanx, you'll get it. And if you don't, I, and I totally get the people that think it's stupid because I too thought it was stupid until I got my booty into a pair of these. I really recommend at least trying them out. They have so many different kinds. They have like a croc, like a fake crocodile looking one. Those are a little wild for me. They have like a patent leather one, but I just, I really love the look of the faux leather and they're so comfortable and they look so the return policy is really great. So if you wanted to order them on the Spanx website, I definitely recommend trying that. Just for size reference, I am a size small and they fit perfectly. But I have a dupe for you in case you want that look but you don't wanna spend $100 on leggings. I totally get it. I got these on Amazon. They don't, they don't look good on camera right now. Like they kinda look like, um, trash bags on camera <laughs> but on they look so good I have worn these three times already and all three times someone has complimented my pants these are just some faux leather leggings that I found on Amazon I think they were 30 to 40 dollars love them and they came in a few different colors as well but obviously I opted for the black these obviously are not as high quality as the Spanx and they are more of like a patent leather so this so these are my Spanx and these are my Amazon leggings oh so there is the difference right there these are a little shinier um you can tell when I wear these that these are not as quality as my Spanx ones but they're still really nice and something that I love about this specific pair is that they have like a fleece lining so they're so warm. I wore this the other night when I was outside and they kept me so warm and toasty. Really, really love this. A lot of the faux leather leggings that I see on Amazon, the inside is also faux leather which is so uncomfortable and so hot and like imagine the sweaty legs but these are so soft, so cozy. So if you're looking for some faux leather leggings and don't want to spend your coin on Spanx, I will have the link to the Amazon listing down below. And again, for size reference, I am a small. You guys are gonna freak out when I show you this jacket. Uh, this is my Abby Jacks jacket. From the front, looking at it, you're like, Kendall, it's a jean jacket. Okay, what's the big deal? What's the fuss? I'll tell you what the fuss is about. I mean, <laughs> this is so cute. I am obsessed with this. I found this brand, Abby Jacks, in a boutique, and the creator of Abby Jacks is so sweet. She is local to me, and she makes the most gorgeous jackets. She sells these locally in boutiques in my area, but she also has a website. So if you guys are interested, she has some pre-made jackets that are listed right now that you can buy. But she has um, on her site where you can pick what style jacket you want. Like if you want it oversized, if you want it cropped, if you want it fitted. And and then you go to like the next page and you can pick what fabric you want. You'll have to see. Please go to her website and check it out. She has some amazing pieces on there. Uh, and definitely go follow her on Instagram. I will leave her handle right here and down below. So go give her a follow, please and thank you. These next two items are the same thing but in different colors because if you know anything about me, if I see something I like, I buy it in multiple colors. And these are the cutest little beanies. And, um, a shop called Distressed Vintage Couture. They are an online site. They are based in Athens, Georgia. And how cute is this? I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but this smiley face is pink and it's got sparkles all over it. And I have the exact same one in a hot pink. 
with a silver smiley with glitter all over it. These are so freaking cute and they fit just how I like. I'm obsessed. I think these are so cute. It finally got cold enough the other night where I could wear this and I was like, yes, these make me so happy to look at. I love, love, love smiley faces. So I think they still have these on their site and they also sell like vintage band tees, uh, distressed <laughs> t-shirts, like it's in the name, distressed vintage. They sell sweatshirts, t-shirts, different accessories. They sell all the things super cute site. So definitely check that out if you're into stuff like this. I have a favorite fragrance that I would love to tell you guys about. This is the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. <sighs> so good. If you happen to be in an Ulta, please go smell this. This is like my kind of perfume. It's not heavy. It's not strong. It's not overly sweet. It's just like that perfect it's like the most perfect, like pleasant scent. <laughs> Whenever I wear this, I have people ask me, what are you wearing? What do you have on? So good, so light. It's so light, but still impactful. I know that they came out with a cloud intense. I have not smelled that. Um, I'm happy with the original one right now because I can still smell it on me all day long. And I think this is just like a perfect scent. So. I am curious to see what the intense one smells like. Next time I'm in store, I'll have to pick it up. I also love her newest scent, the God is a Woman fragrance. So good. I actually almost bought it when I was in Ulta last time, but I'm holding out <laughs> for a coupon or something. I don't know what's going on with my Ulta account. It seems like everybody else gets 20% off like even prestige brands and fragrances, but I get like the enjoy $3 off your next $15 or more purchase than like. Last thing I wanna talk about is this book. Oh my God, this book. <laughs> this is uh, called Verity by Colleen Hoover and I read this in two days. I brought this on vacation with me and me and the girls went to the beach and I literally sat there on the beach and just read this like every like I was like, I'm sorry ladies, I know we came here to bond and have a girls trip and chat but if you've read this book, you know what I'm talking about. Like I could not put this down. We would literally be going out to the bars, get home at two or 3 a.m. Everyone else is like passed out in bed and I'm on the couch just like, like I wanted to come home from the bars to read my book. It's really good. <laughs> I actually have two books of hers that I am um, waiting to read. I have Ugly Love and November 9th. So those are my next two to read, but if you need like a really good, really good book, I will say check the trigger warnings on this because there are some things in this book that I can only imagine if you've experienced some of the trauma that happens in this book, it would probably be very upsetting for you. So definitely check those trigger warnings because I would hate to recommend this to somebody and then it just bring up a lot of horrible, horrible things for you. But yeah, other than that, <laughs> It's a really good book. All right, so those are my current favorite things, my current favorite finds. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean so much to me. And give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. We'll have everything mentioned linked down below. And thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye.